أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم آمين The revelation of this book is from Allah exalted in power full of knowledge Who forgives sin accepts repentance is strict in punishment and has a long reach in all things There is no God but He to Him is the final goal None can dispute about the signs of Allah, but the unbelievers, let not then their strutting about through the land deceive you. But there were people before them who denied the signs, the people of Noah, and the confederates of evil after them, and every people plotted against their prophet to seize him and disputed by means of vanities, therewith to condemn the truth. But it was I that seized them, And how terrible was my requital. Thus was the decree of your Lord proved true against the unbelievers, that truly they are companions of the fire. Those who sustain the throne of Allah and those around it sing glory and praise to their Lord, believe in Him, and implore forgiveness for those who believe. Our Lord, your reach is over all things, in mercy and knowledge. Forgive then those who turn in repentance and follow your path, and preserve them from the penalty of the blazing fire. And grant, our Lord, that they enter the gardens of eternity, which you have promised to them, and to the righteous among their fathers, their wives, and their posterity. For you are he the exalted in might, full of wisdom. And preserve them from all ills, And any whom you do preserve from ills that day, on them will you have bestowed mercy indeed, and that will be truly for them the highest achievement. The unbelievers will be addressed. Greater was the aversion of Allah to you than is your aversion to yourselves, seeing that you were called to the faith and you used to refuse. They will say, Our Lord, twice have you made us without life. And twice have you given us life. Now have we recognized our sins. Is there any way out of this? The answer will be, This is because, When Allah was invoked as the only object of worship, You did reject faith. But, When partners were joined to Him, You believed. The command is with Allah, Most High, Most Great. He it is who shows you His signs, and sends down sustenance for you from the sky. But only those receive admonition who turn to Allah. Call you then upon Allah with sincere devotion to Him, even though the unbelievers may detest it. Raised high above ranks or degrees, He is the Lord of the throne of authority. By His command does He send the spirit of inspiration to any of His servants He pleases that it may warn men of the day of mutual meeting, the day whereon they will all come forth. Not a single thing concerning them is hidden from Allah, whose will be the dominion that day, that of Allah, the One, the Irresistible. That day will every soul be requited for what it earned. No injustice will there be that day, for Allah is swift in taking account. Warn them of the day that is ever drawing near, when the hearts will come right up to the throats to choke them. No intimate friend nor intercessor will the wrongdoers have, who could be listened to. Allah knows of the tricks that deceive with the eyes, and all that the hearts of men conceal. And Allah will judge with justice and truth, but those whom men invoke besides him will not be in a position to judge at all. Verily, it is Allah alone who hears and sees all things. Do they not travel through the earth and see what was the end of those before them? They were even superior to them in strength and in the traces they have left in the land. But Allah did call them to account for their sins and none had they to defend them against Allah. That was because there came to them their messengers with clear signs, but they rejected them. So Allah called them to account, for he is full of strength, strict in punishment.
Of old we sent Moses with our signs, and an authority manifest. To Pharaoh, Haman, and Korun, but they called him a sorcerer telling lies. Now when he came to them, in truth from us, they said, Slay the sons of those who believe with him, and keep alive their females. But the plots of unbelievers end in nothing but errors and delusions. Said Pharaoh, Leave me to slay Moses, and let him call on his Lord. What I fear is lest he should change your religion, or lest he should cause mischief to appear in the land. Moses said, I have indeed called upon my Lord, and your Lord, for protection from every arrogant one who believes not in the day of account. Believer, a man from among the people of Pharaoh, who had concealed his faith, said, Will you slay a man because he says, My Lord is Allah, when he has indeed come to you with clear signs from your Lord? And, if he be a liar, on him is the sin of his lie. But, if he is telling the truth, then will fall on you something of the calamity of which he warns you. Truly, Allah guides not one who transgresses and lies. O oh, my people, yours is the dominion this day. You have the upper hand in the land, but who will help us from the punishment of Allah? Should it befall us? Pharaoh said, I but point out to you that which I see myself, nor do I guide you but to the path of right. Then said the man who believed, O oh, my people, truly I do fear for you something like the day of disaster of the confederates in sin, something like the fate of the people of Noah, the Ad, and the Thamud, and those who came after them. But Allah never wishes injustice to his servants. And O oh, my people, I fear for you a day, when there will be mutual calling and wailing. A day when you shall turn your backs and flee. No defender shall you have from Allah. Any whom Allah leaves to stray, there is none to guide. And to you there came Joseph in times gone by, with clear signs. But you ceased not to doubt of the mission for which he had come. At length when he died you said, No messenger will Allah send after him. Thus does Allah leave to stray such as transgress and live in doubt such as dispute about the signs of Allah, without any authority that has reached them. Grievous and odious is such conduct in the sight of Allah and of the believers. Thus does Allah seal up every heart of arrogant and obstinate transgressors. Pharaoh said, O Haman, build me a lofty palace, that I may attain the ways and means, the ways and means of reaching the heavens, and that I may mount up to the God of Moses. But as far as I am concerned, I think Moses is a liar. Thus was made alluring, in Pharaoh's eyes, the evil of his deeds, and he was hindered from the path, and the plot of Pharaoh led to nothing but perdition for him. The man who believed said further, O oh my people, follow me, I will lead you to the path of right. O oh my people, this life of the present is nothing but temporary convenience. It is the hereafter that is the home that will last. He that works evil will not be requited but by the like thereof, and he that works a righteous deed, whether man or woman, and is a believer, such will enter the garden of bliss. Therein will they have abundance without measure. And, O oh my people, how strange it is for me to call you to salvation while you call me to the fire. You do call upon me to blaspheme against Allah, and to join with him partners of whom I have no knowledge, and I call you to the exalted in power, who forgives again and again. Without doubt, you do call me to one who is not fit to be called to, whether in this world or in the hereafter. Our return will be to Allah, and the transgressors will be companions of the fire. Soon will you remember what I say to you now. My own affair I commit to Allah, for Allah ever watches over his servants. Then Allah saved him from every ill that they plotted against him, but the brunt of the penalty encompassed on all sides the people of Pharaoh.
In front of the fire will they be brought, morning and evening. And the sentence will be on the day that judgment will be established. Cast you the people of Pharaoh into the severest penalty? Behold, they will dispute with each other in the fire. The weak ones who followed will say to those who had been arrogant, We but followed you. Can you then take on yourselves from us some share of the fire? Those who had been arrogant will say, We are all in this fire, truly, Allah has judged between his servants. Those in the fire will say to the keepers of hell, Pray to your Lord to lighten us the penalty for a day at least. They will say, Did there not come to you your messengers with clear signs? They will say yes. They will reply, Then, pray as you like. But the prayer of those without faith is nothing but futile wandering in mazes of error. We will without doubt help our messengers and those who believe both in this world's life and on the day when the witnesses will stand forth. Day when no profit will it be to wrongdoers to present their excuses. But they will only have the curse and the home of misery. We did aforetime give Moses the book of guidance and we gave the book in inheritance to the children of Israel, a guide and a message to men of understanding. Patiently then persevere, for the promise of Allah is true, and ask forgiveness for your fault, and celebrate the praises of your Lord in the evening and in the morning. Those who dispute about the signs of Allah without any authority bestowed on them, there is nothing in their breasts but the quest of greatness, which they shall never attain to. Seek refuge then in Allah. It is He who hears and sees all things. Assuredly, the creation of the heavens and the earth is a greater matter than the creation of men, yet most men understand not. Not equal are the blind and those who clearly see nor are equal those who believe and work deeds of righteousness. And those who do evil, little do you learn by admonition. The hour will certainly come. Therein is no doubt. Yet most men believe not. And your Lord says, Call on me, I will answer your prayer. But those who are too arrogant to serve me will surely find themselves in hell, in humiliation. It is Allah who has made the night for you, that you may rest therein, and the day as that which helps you to see. Verily, Allah is full of grace and bounty to men, yet most men give no thanks. Such is Allah, your Lord, the creator of all things. There is no God but He. Then how you are deluded away from the truth. Thus are deluded those who are wont to reject the signs of Allah. He is the living one. There is no God but He. Call upon Him, giving Him sincere devotion. Praise be to Allah, Lord of the worlds. Say, I have been forbidden to invoke those whom you invoke besides Allah, seeing that the clear signs have come to me from my Lord and I have been commanded to bow in Islam to the Lord of the worlds. It is he who has created you from dust, then from a sperm drop, then from a leech-like clot. Then does he get you out into the light as a child, then lets you grow and reach your age of full strength. Then lets you become old, though of you there are some who die before, and lets you reach a term appointed, in order that you may learn wisdom. It is he who gives life and death, and when he decides upon an affair, he says to it, Be, and it is. See you not those that dispute concerning the signs of Allah, how are they turned away from reality? Those who reject the book and the revelations with which we sent our messengers, but soon shall they know. And the yokes shall be round their necks, and the chains they shall be dragged along. In the boiling fetid fluid, then in the fire shall they be burnt. Then shall it be said to them, Where are the deities to which you gave part worship? In derogation of Allah, 
they will reply, They have left us in the lurch. Nay, we invoke not of old anything that had real existence. Thus does Allah leave the unbelievers to stray. That was because you were wont to rejoice on the earth in things other than the truth, and that you were wont to be insolent. Enter you the gates of hell to dwell therein, and evil is this abode of the arrogant. So persevere in patience, for the promise of Allah is true, and whether we show you in this life some part of what we promise them, or we take your soul to our mercy before that, in any case, it is to us that they shall all return. We did aforetime send messengers before you, of them there are some whose story we have related to you, and some whose story we have not related to you. It was not possible for any messenger to bring a sign except by the leave of Allah. But when the command of Allah issued, the matter was decided in truth and justice. And there perished there and then those who stood on falsehoods. It is Allah who made cattle for you, that you may use some for riding and some for food. And there are other advantages in them for you besides, that you may through them attain to any need there may be in your hearts and on them and on ships you are carried. And he shows you always his signs. Then which of the signs of Allah will you deny? Do they not travel through the earth and see what was the end of those before them? They were more numerous than these and superior in strength. And in the traces they have left in the land, yet all that they accomplished was of no profit to them. For when their messengers came to them with clear signs, they exulted in such knowledge and skill as they had, but that very wrath at which they were wont to scoff hemmed them in. And when they saw our punishment, they said, We believe in Allah, the one God, and we reject the partners we used to join with them. But their professing the faith, when they actually saw our punishment, was not going to profit them. Such has been Allah's way of dealing with His servants from the most ancient times. And even thus did the rejecters of Allah perish utterly.